Hello, this is uh, day seven of the Hansen uh, training workout and I went and did the Reds route as, as we call it. Uh, Red, Red Laurel's is a local uh, fitness and health center uh, in, here in Lafayette. And there is a route that goes out and around a neighborhood that has some hills and it's a good, work, good workout for hills. And you can do 8 miles all the way up to 13 miles on that route if you would like. But today was just 8 miles for the Hanson Training Program. And it was a good run. The first two miles I felt sluggish. I felt really bad. It's like every single run I feel, the first two miles I feel really bad because I haven't fully recovered from the day before because I've never done this kind of mileage before. However, I've been told by some, you know, friends that it'll, it'll take a couple weeks for my body to adapt to this type of training. So after a couple weeks, it should be better. Um, but it was a really good run. I did run a little too fast. I was supposed to do a 10-15 pace and end up doing an 8-15 pace. Why? I just felt good. I felt uh, the energy was there to do it, so I felt good. Um, you really shouldn't do that. <laughs> but maybe I'll pay for that tomorrow. <laughs> but... Uh, Anyway, it's it's not really considered my long run. Eight miles is not really the lo the long run, uh, but it should have been at an easy run pace, but not a long run pace. Anyway, I have promised a shoe review, and this is the Brooks Adrenaline GTS 13s. That's the shoe I'm training in for the Zotico Marathon. And it's the shoe I'm going to run it in, and then I'm going to buy a new pair of shoes after the marathon. Pretty excited about that. Runners get excited about buying new shoes. It's just, it's like Christmas for us when we buy shoes. Now some specs on the shoe. The weight of the shoe is, um, it's 11.3 ounces in weight. It has a midsole of 12 millimeter and it has the DNA technology in it which is uh, d the DNA technology within the sole it, it has the cushioning that is supposed to disperse your impact weight amongst the shoe uh, to reduce the stress of the impact the DNA technology and the way I run I land, and you can see the wear. I have wear on this up in the front a lot because, and less in the back, because I land midfoot. I land like this here, midfoot, and then my heel comes down. So a lot of my wear is up here. Um, it's a really good shoe. Uh, it's a moderate uh, pronation balance which I do over promenade just a little bit so it is the perfect shoe for me um, the shoe I had before this I won't mention the brand I won't mention the, the name of it but I got blisters in that shoe and when they switched me over the local running shoe store switched me over to the Brooks I've had no problems at all I love it so I'm going to stick with the brand and uh, stick with their shoes. Now they're coming out with some different shoes. They don't have as much of an arc in the back. Um, like their natural, more flat running shoes. Uh, they're pure project. So they have some new shoes that definitely when I'm shopping I'll be looking at. Uh, later on so that's my uh, my diary for the day seven of 
my Hanson training program. So give me another week. I should be, I should feel better. I shouldn't be as sluggish uh, starting out on the runs. And uh, my body should be adapting. I did not ride my bike today. I have a specialized Ale uh, bike that I use for cross training. And I didn't ride today. Just, it's, I'll, I'm going to wait till next Sunday and ride my bike. Uh, just, I need to let my body adapt to this higher mileage. So I'll see you next time.